Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Race with Panos. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 9 of Kaiju number 8. In the last episode, we saw Kafka finally making it into the Defense Force. Mm -hmm. He's not uh, a cadet anymore. And he also fought with the Vice Captain. Yes. He even exposed his core, but he survived. And at the end, we see a new Kaiju arrive. So let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. ジョニーカンジタ人間のような違和感。ピカシ、え、リエスヒューマン。怪獣に何が起きてる。いや、その名も仕事。あの、あの、フライングカイジーズアピアリングナウ。イズデム?イエス。オーノー。Oh no, oh no, this is why then it goes straight into the intro. Stop it. They're going for the base. I'm telling you, all these titles are Whoa! But I'm assuming this is the first time something like this is happening, right? They're, they're assuming... coming out of the sky. Directly for the base. Wow, this is like Armageddon. You know the very first scene when it crashes into Manhattan? Inside the base! The Kaijus are inside the base? Each one of them is Honju. <sighs> no. Wow. This is gonna be disastrous. She's away. What do you mean? Holiday? How do they know? It's like dragons. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna transform? Maybe they're there because of him. Something's not right. What does it mean? その全てに共通してる特徴があります。全て単独行動。Oh, they have a leader. Well, there he is. They're going after him. Target sighted. Mm. That is crazy. You shouldn't have said that. 8.3. 8.3. No, that is why. Whoa! Honestly, you can't waste a second with this one. Wow. What is he doing? Is he calling the other ones to him? I'm assuming. Why are they calling someone else? Oh. oh my god. Exactly. One hit and you're over. But good he's there, right? Because he's so good in close combat. 
Oh, they can't defeat those. They're too strong. Whoa! Oh. Kafka, let's go! Ah, you can see it, no? It's almost like the scales. See the openings? Yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Ooh, you're good as well! Mm -hmm. No! Damn! That was crazy! They're working out, they're also working together! No, oh, let's go! I guess you just need wow. to be super fast! Faster than them! Wow, what is she doing? What was that? A spear? Use my unstoppable power? She shattered the An stomach. Wow. <laughs> like, that's how you do it. That was the thumbnail right there. <laughs> Custom weapon. シノミア。これからは体調副隊長に次ぐ第三。わあ。それ、we didn't Um, oh, be careful. I love that she can carry it, you know. Wow. Wow. She's gonna reach the core of the planet with that thing. Usage to. Ooh. Whoa! Wow, Water skimmer. Amazing. <laughs> it like, it's the perfect weapon for her. <laughs> Overbearing personality. I love it. But are they dead? Are we sure they're dead? Mm, Those other ones. So. Let's go, Reno. Teamwork, let's go. Yeah, Half chop the head off. Uh, I wonder if those also have reproductive organs. I could better to destroy the core, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's go. So he wants to kill him. The question is, can he actually defeat it? You know, can the vice captain defeat it alone? Mm. Oops. And it's fast, you know. Oh, behind you. Oh, Eat you and get even stronger. No. Oh. He does need Kafka. Ah. Ooh, let's go. Wow. 
He's gonna go all out now. Berserk mode, let's go. Who's this? Oh no. How is she alone? Come on, Kafka. Oh. Kaiju legs! Yes, it's the suit. Exactly. <laughs> Just say yes. <laughs> go, go. Uh, chop, chop. Go. Oh. Shinomiya to the rescue. Do not transform. Oof. Wow, look at them, they're all arriving. Okay, it's going well. Maybe too well? Maybe too well, yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. Just lies through the whole body. Wind slasher, let's go. Whoa. Where is the core? Whoa. Find the core, find the core. This is giving me on Genesis Evangelion. Well, as expected, it can regenerate. Ooh. Whoa, he's like, here's some minced beef. Slicing him up like salami. Ooh, maybe he's got multiple cores. Wow. Oh, this that is, too... is crazy. It's too good to be true. It is too good to be true, I agree. What happened? My god, I have good What is happening? Is it mutating? What is this? Oh thing? no. Uh, final boss stage. No. What is this? Nine. Oh no. Oh. He's turned into Godzilla. Yeah, literally. The music also sounded like a Godzilla, Godzilla. movie. No! What? <laughs> uh, just skip and go to the next episode. Well, what do you think? We are not wasting a second. We are not wasting a second. Right? Straight into the next fight. Crazy. Kafka's on the bloody roof and those Honjus are falling from the We're sky. We're having a little Ar Armageddon moment. But also just interesting, like it gets smarter and smarter and even uh, Hoshina was like, these Kaijus are becoming, like he doesn't recognize them. Suddenly they're so human and here they are targeting specifically the base. I was going to say, like it's a targeted attack. Yes. They are working together, which they're yes. usually not doing. Yes. So it's like, wow. Mm. And here you have suddenly Kaiju number 10, the red one. He's now reached fortitude level. 10. Fortitude power 10. No, sorry, 9.0. 9.0. 9, 9 well, it started at 8.3 and then it evolved further. But also, Hoshina, care, care, uh, he casually exposed the core again, you know? And he's like, oh, your core is a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> he's not even wasting a second and he's just reading it. 
but also very smart of him where he's, he, he's such a smart fighter. You know, he, he strategically moved him into the training ground to separate him as well, you know, from civilians, yeah, from his exactly. team. Exactly. He doesn't want to harm anyone else. Exactly. He, and he wants to go all, all out. Which he did. Very impressive. He's just slicing and slicing. Um, and yeah, obviously you can see the Kaiju realized, oh, my core is exposed. I need to step it up. And yes. now it's transforming into this new form. And it's becoming a huge, huge kaiju, a huge Godzilla. So I do think, I mean, it's inevitable at this point. Kafka has to transform. Yes. Right? Because also Mina <clears throat> Mina isn't here. Exactly. Uh, but also that he saw, like, he was, Kafka wasn't transformed, but he still had this, like... Yes. Right? He could sense it. He could sense it, like something is happening, like mm. something's going on. It's interesting. Let's talk about the other MVP, Shinomiya, Shinomiya. getting with her a new own weapon with an axe. They're like, here's a little chopping knife. Huge axe. <laughs> it fits like, your... Oh, it doesn't suit me. What, what no, did you say? Her. It fits your uh, overbearing, obnoxious character. character. Well, it does. It's twice her size. Yes. I mean, we already know she is a good fighter and she's always doing a really good job. What was but, her power? Was it 46 or 56 percent? Um, I want to say it was 56 at the end. She reached 56, no? I think it was below 50. Well, didn't she no? start with 46 and then it went to 56? Could be. Something yes. like that. It's but nice it, that they're honoring her. Yeah. But it's also like the whole team is doing a good job. Yes. Right? And they're working, working well together. together. I have to say, though, so the scene where she appears and starts using her axe, mm -hmm. and then you see um, Reno gets involved and uses the freeze rounds. Yes. Where was Iharu, right? Because in that scene, Reno and Iharu are next to each other, mm -hmm. and they're both like, wow, this is amazing. But then from then on, we only saw Reno using the freeze rounds. And then Iharu disappeared. And I was like, that's so weird and so out of character, because Iharu would have been right there getting into the mix, you know? Yeah. That was a little weird that they just paused his appearance, I thought. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Overall, you can see how well they're working. And even Kafka was like super proud. This is my team. This is the third division. Um, I have to say, though, I am a little surprised that Shinomiya is the third strongest officer. And I'm like, you're telling me that there's nobody else? Yeah. So she got you recruited had to wait like a, minute, a ago. minute ago. Yeah. And she's already the third strongest. So, so what are the others doing? Well, especially the seniors and everybody that appeared later on in the episode. They're like, oh, everybody comes, you know, the ones that are off duty and the seniors. And I was like, there's nobody in here that has more power than her. Yeah. I mean, but did you see, like, she was impressed with Reno as well. Yeah, because he was switched on. Yeah. Yeah. But a typical her was like, oh, you can, you can fight you know alongside me if you can keep up yes because obviously she's super fast very impressive as well you know that axe must must weigh a ton and she just runs around like it's a little i don't know like a little kitchen knife or something knife. yeah um but yeah i mean the show is absolutely amazing it just keeps getting better and better the fighting is really cool we see so many new things. I'm saying new things. I mean, we've seen stuff like this before, but at the same time, it's like, oh, you know, they've established the weakness, which is the back, mm -hmm. and then they're about to take advantage of that weakness. But no, those kaijus are one step ahead. And you saw that one scene where the kaiju comes out of the building and protects the other kaijus back. Yeah. You know, that was yeah, so cool. Exactly. I was like, oh, wow, it's a weak spot. But no, these kaijus are protecting each other, you know? And I love that about this show. It's it's obvious, but there is a twist. There's you know? always a twist. Exactly. Yeah. And, I, and I really like that. It's not just, oh, okay, you know, they found the weakness. Now they're going to kill all the kaijus. No, no, no. Now they need to take it next to the next level, you know. Um, super cool episode. Hoshina, super amazing. Go ahead. Um, we did see at some point, obviously, some of the other officers that were, like, off duty. Oh, yeah. And also came. Yes, they yes, appeared. Yes. So maybe Mina is also going to show up. Where is she? Especially now that Kaiju number 10 is like huge. 
I she like, needs to show up turn that with a plane bloody around, bazooka, bazooka. Or whatever it is. She might be on the moon. She can shoot from the moon. She has to, yeah. Especially, you know, the bigger the kaijus get, the slower they are. So now, as big as this one is now, I don't think it's going to be as fast as it was when it was smaller. Yeah. Can we also then it's also big... 9.0 9. 0 now, so... Yeah. Can we also talk about the fact how Kafka just was like, oh, let me just quickly switch my sh- uh, shoes, my, my, my feet on, and then just jumping around, yeah. just like, oh... You're using your suit. He's like, yes. <laughs> like, yes, yes. <laughs> it's the suit. But it's so good. I always thought like he should be able to just transfer from certain. And he body did parts, it before. He did know? it before. You remember in the in the it was it the second episode when he when he transformed his arm mm. to to flip around the car. Yes, in the, in the parking lot. Right. This was was this episode nine. Episode nine. Yes. Wow. I can't wait another week. Anyway, very good fun. Lots of fun, actually. Like we said before, it's one of our favorite animes at the moment. Thank you all for being here. And we're going to be back for episode 10. Take care. Bye.